Why the winners of Love Island 2022? <laughs> Listen, the way I screamed, the way I screamed this whole place down. <laughs> Guys, the winners of Love Island 2022, Ekinsu, Ekinsu and Davide. And they tried to get rid of her yesterday. They tried to get rid of Ekinsu and Davide yesterday. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> Massive, massive, massive congratulations to Ekinsu and Davide, the winners of Love Island 2022. Listen, we all knew this was going to happen. Deep down, we knew that these two were going to win the show. Their iconic, their romance, their chemistry, their banter, their bickering, their arguments, Davide's one-liners. You're a liar, actress. <laughs> That's going to be the, one of the main highlights of the series. You're fake like a Louis Vuitton from China. I can see from the minute she walked in, from the moment she walked into that villa. Listen, she let us know from the beginning. Ekansu was not lying, you know. My name is Ekansu. I'm 27. I'm a Turkish actress. I'm giving you guys the entertainment, the drama, the tears, the laughter. Was she lying? Did she lie? Because week in, week out, she gave us the entertainment non-stop. The girl didn't fail to disappoint us, giving us the entertainment. Week in, week out. Yet yesterday, the islanders tried to get rid of her. <laughs> Massive congratulations. Honestly, this this right here has been the highlight. Them two have been the highlights. They've been one of the main highlights, not gonna lie. Can we also talk about how stunning Ekinsu looked as well? I loved the dress. Also loved her dress at the summer ball as well. It was cute, but I loved India's dress more not gonna lie but i loved her dress it was cute the split and everything she looked cute she looked sexy the speech at the summer ball was very cute as well and davide ending it with some italiano both of them saying that te amos it was cute it was cute i'm telling you this right now this is just the beginning this is just the beginning ekinsu's career is about to blow onwards and upwards from here man the girl did amazing okay he carried the show from the beginning to the end anyways guys let me know your thoughts what do you guys make of this are you guys here for this are you guys here for ekinsu and davini winning love island i am gonna do a part two as well because there's a lot of other things i want to talk about as well but let me know your thoughts i want to talk about ekin who ekin who ekinsu ekinsu <laughs> whether you like it or not these two definitely brought a lot to the show and so is the other islanders of course but these two oh they definitely brought a whole lot to the show Davides and his one-liners have been going viral all over TikTok. Let's just be real. Massive, massive, massive congratulations to Damia India for coming third place, baby. Yes, I know a whole lot of people have had a whole lot to say on the timeline. I don't know what's going on with this public voting. Every year this keeps happening. I'm sorry, but Damia deserves to actually come second place. Let's just be real but third place isn't bad either the fact that they were even in the finals that is huge in itself so yeah massive congratulations to them can we also appreciate how gorgeous how gorgeous india looked tonight the makeup the dress oh <laughs> can we talk about how gorgeous india looked at the summer ball like how gorgeous her dress was it was given classy it was given elegance it was it was given bride for a minute, I thought this was India's wedding because, baby, that dress. Listen, out of all the girls, India slayed. She slayed that dress. I was feeling the hair, the dress, the makeup, everything from the speech. The speech with her and Dami, that was cute as well. There was so much passion. There was so much detail. You know, at one point, Dami did get a bit emotional. You know, he would start tearing up. It was a bit emotional. I'm not going to lie. It was very emotional. Do you know what it is? As a viewer, right? We've literally been in this journey with them for eight weeks. We've watched their crazy journey, their ups and downs. And I just can't believe that the series has come to an end, guys. It's, it's come to an end. Honestly, you know what? Let me tell you something. This series right here was the best series by far. By far. Compared to what we had in 2020. Compared to what we had in 2021. Oh, this has to be the best one. Regardless of how we feel about certain islanders, let's just be real. A lot of these islanders definitely brought something to the show. It brought a whole lot to the show. We're talking about Ekansu, Davide. The baddest of the baddest bombshells. India, Dami, 
Danica. Of course, we all know Ekansu rattled all the girls. She turned the whole villa upside down. Danica definitely rattled the girls. I know a lot of you guys were saying that, you know, she was definitely given Friend Island, but Antigone definitely brought something to the show. Yes, there were times, certain days where, you know, we had some dry episodes. But overall, it was a great series. It was a great series. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Or a 9. No, a 10 out of 10. Anyways, y'all, let me know what your thoughts. What do you guys make of the public voting? What do you guys make of the winners of Love Island, the runner-up, the third place, the fourth place? We all know that Tasha and Andrew came fourth place as well. What do you guys make of this? Are you guys here for this? Honestly, man, I don't want the series to end, but it's been a very long eight weeks. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>